This is Bundaberg Regional Council's Botanic Gardens. The herbarium has been digitised and that digitising has uh, brought in over 60 species of plants. Uh, the leaves, the stems, the seeds, everything that uh, a botanist would want to know about the wonderful plants that are here in the botanical gardens. A large portion of the herbariums have been sampled from right here in the botanic gardens. Um, some have been taken from some of our natural areas within the region as well. Um, but some of the, the prominent families that are, are featured within our herbarium is the Myrtaceae family and Proteaceae, so a lot of native species. So ideally uh, we're looking for a, a sample that's true to type, so that means the, the leaf shape, colour and, and size is um, what you'd normally expect on that tree, but also the same for the flower and fruit. So ideally when we're going out to collect, um, we, we're collecting from uh, specimens that are in flower and hopefully have some good samples of fruit on them as well so we can press all, all three components in the one. Herbariums are always associated with botanic gardens. Uh, botanic gardens are a living collection and the herbarium is another way of preserving um, samples that can be easily um, sourced for students and learning and even just for um, um, basic uh, identification purposes when members of the public come in. It just, it's a bit easier to access. So we're excited to have this digitised and online on the Botanic Gardens website, but it's also great timing um, in conjunction with Botanic Gardens Day um, with events running throughout the whole month of May.